Alright, continuing on with Fief, we're in phase five, the movement phase. We start in turn order, blue is first. Uh, movement's really simple in this game. Um, it's two spaces uh, with a lord. One exception is if somebody has the dark card on a lord, that lord can move three spaces. Um, okay, well, basically they want to take the whole fief, which is a three village fief. There's one village there, one village there. That's what Blue would like to do. There's a possibility either player could attack them, um, so they want to be a little bit careful. Um, but they figure that's unlikely. Um, so they're just going to go, and this Lord's going to move up here, take a single uh, minute arms counter, take control of the village. Uh, then he's going to move back for a second move. Likewise, then this Lord will activate. He's going to take a single minute arms counter, drop him off there, and return back to their stronghold. So both Lords are now together in the stronghold, relatively safe. Um, so while um, Black up here could go after their men at arms, they would have a decent counter response um, with tr they could build troops there and build the stack and go after them. Uh, so they feel that's the best position. Um, all right, and that's basically it. Um, you do everybody's movement first, then you do combat. Now there's an exception. You can attempt to move through opponent spaces. It's called a cavalcade. Uh, you fight a battle immediately. The defender gets some bonuses, and if you win, you can uh, continue on. Also, other players can allow movement through their space. So if they wanted to move this way, for example, they would move onto the road and then say, hey, can will you let me through? And that player can say, yeah, go, you know, go on through, in which case they can, they can move through that uh, village space. Or they can say no, and, and you'll either have a battle or, or they'll kick them back. So, um, again, very simple mechanics on this game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do everybody else's. I don't foresee any combat at this point. Um, this bishopric over here is in plague. Um, you know, I guess there could be a conflict here, possibly, but I, I don't see it. Most players are just going to want to expand um, and try and get their fief. I don't know that all of them are going to be able to, but um, with some of the bigger fiefs. But we'll go ahead and see, and I'll come back when this is done. Okay, so everybody's done their moves. Nobody decided to initiate any combat or contest any areas. Um, Everybody's playing nice at this point, it, and that makes sense. You know, you're weak. You don't want to make an enemy right away, especially with other people who can kind of sweep in on you um, if you're fighting someone else. I mean, you can make they could make deals, but I think they're far enough apart where you know, say white and and pink said, "Hey, let's go beat on green." And between us, they're not in a great position to do so uh, at this point. Um, so I think. It's probably, this This is probably, uh, you know, what's going to happen here initially. Certainly you could have deals to, to do different things. And, and some players have cards that can help them. Again, nobody wants to really make an enemy right away. They want to see how marriages, alliances shake out here in the second turn. All right, so we're, that's end of turn one. Um, flip the first player card counterclockwise down here. And I'll go ahead and turn do turn two. Um, or at least do part of it. I'll come back if uh, we have some interesting alliances or things we haven't seen. Okay, went through the alliance phase. Um, and pink alliance, Henri, and the yellow alliance, and Eleanor. Eleanor, they, they married, so they're allied. And you can't break alliances um, in this game. Except if one of the spout, one of the two married people die, that'll break the alliance. Or if the po you get the Pope to excommunicate, or uh, not excommunicate, annul the marriage. That's the only way. So uh, alliances are fairly binding in this. Um, however, there's assassinate cards. You can assassinate your spouse, and you know that sort of thing. So uh, there, I guess there are. And uh, there is another way to do it. Obviously, plague can kill, kill, uh, kill people as well, but. This is our alliance here. These two powers, uh, yellow and pink, have decided, hey, uh, let's ally. Now, what does this mean? Well, green knows now, 
there's going to be they're going to be in war here with the pink faction. Pink has nowhere else to go. I mean, they could move up through through yellow territory, but um, but they know that that's what's coming. Yellow, well, they're they're secure. They can go up and try and take another fiefdom. Um, green tried to make an alliance with white. Everybody tried to make an alliance with white. That's Muriel, um, and Muriel decided. I'm not going to make an alliance uh, with anyone. I'm going to see how this turn goes. And if everybody plays nice with me, then I'll make my marriage decision next turn. Um, and she thinks that's the best way to go. Um, because if they make an alliance with one of these powers, the other powers are going to be their enemy right away. And they don't want that at this point. Interestingly enough, how I how they set up, Blue's boxed in here. Um so blue's going to be either in conflict with the white faction or the black faction right away. Um, unless they can, that's why they really wanted to get an alliance with white here. Uh, black, likewise, they know they're going to be fighting blue. They want an alliance uh, with Muriel, a marriage there. But again, uh, Muriel's holding holding firm here and going to wait a little bit, play, try and play the factions off a little bit, hopefully allow her to uh, solidify her position here. Um, so anyway, that, that was the alliance. We go to the discard. Everybody discards a card in turn order if they want. Um, both the yellow and white factions drew cardinal cards. They just have female lords. They don't need those. They discarded them um, because they want to be able to draw two cards here in the card draw phase. So I will go ahead and do that. All right, we drew our cards. Um, we did our disasters. There was... Only one disaster that took effect. This was heavy rains again in in um, the fifth area here. Um, pink player played a a uh, good weather card to um, cancel that out. Um, we drew some lords. So the blue faction they're up to three male lords. Um, so is the pink faction. They got three male lords. The black they didn't draw a lord or they chose not to play it. Um, so it's don't know what that is. Over here, yellow drew a second female lord, which isn't real good for them. They're already in marriage, so that's not really helpful. However, white, they got the dark card. So Muriel is now uh, Muriel Dark. Um, that makes her the most powerful military leader in the game. Um, so that was good for her to stay out of marriage, I think. That worked out well. Green drew a female uh, a lady. And so green can now uh, look to possibly ally with either blue or black up here um, during the next alliance phase. So uh, we're done with that. We're going to go to purchases, buy our stuff, and I think that's it for this video.